record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man. Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cash review. Oh, what a very interesting die cast we have here today. Good old um, RFK, right? Roush Renoy Kozlowski, yeah. So, good start to Speed Weeks winning Duel 1 and 2. You know, Chris Buescher, Brad Kozlowski getting, you know, those wins. Not bad, not bad. Then being slapped with a really hard penalty and put them back behind for the entirety of the season. So, yeah, that happened. Pretty devastating, needless uh, to say, being a Brad K fan. Eh, wasn't really, you know, wasn't really happy to hear it, but I mean, he's my second favorite, and that's really only because I feel like I have to have a second favorite, and if I had to pick anybody, it would be Brad. I don't know why, but I kind of like Brad, so, eh, it, it is what it is. I guess he's my second favorite, so, I mean, yeah, pretty good start to Speed Weeks and just the season in general, and they got smacked with that really hard penalty for, uh, I guess, for some type of modification due to the rear... Bumper area, quarter panel, something. I don't remember what it was, but they did a very slight modification and got hit with a hard penalty and got set back for the rest of the year, did not make the playoffs, nothing. Pretty sure Brad did not get any wins for this year. I know Chris uh, did, so Chris Busher got a win at Bristol. Of course, he won Duel 2. So, you know, RFK had a little bit of success, you know, following up the whole huge penalty deal. But to say the least, I am interested in what 2023 will bring for RFK. Hopefully they do a little better than they did last year. So, I don't know. I mean, again, everybody is supposed to be equal when it comes to this whole brand new Gen 7 diecast. Or not diecast, but the paint schemes. and uh, no, Not really the paint schemes. I guess really just the car build in general. I don't know about like the engine build, but the car itself. I guess everything's running, or everybody's running the same stuff no matter what. If you modify anything... Then you're going to get hit with something. I mean, it's it's pretty much guaranteed. There was a couple teams that got hit with some penalties due to any type of modification. I think some were overturned. Uh, but, I mean, either way, you, you are playing with fire if you kind of modify your car. But, nonetheless, we did get some pretty cool, you know, paint schemes from RFK. Got a couple good ones from Chris Buescher. Got a, some really good ones from Brad Kozlowski. We got the, uh, what was the purple one? The Violet? Something Violet. I don't remember which one it was. Or no, the Violet Defense. That's what we got. That was a really good car. Uh, this color paint scheme, also really cool. Even the Fastenal paint scheme for Chris Buescher, that one's really neat as well. So, yeah, got some good paint schemes out of it. <laughs> they didn't have a very good season, but I don't know. Again, hopefully 2023 kind of brings more luck to Brad Kozlowski and to Chris Buescher. Even Buescher flipped at the Coke 600, I believe. He flipped just in general, I, I, but I believe it was specifically at the 600. So, yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> but nonetheless... Let's get the stack cast out of the box and take a closer look. We got a little bit of race wear on it. I mean, it's, it's just a dual win. Nothing crazy. Uh, so there, I don't expect any damage. I don't really expect... Uh, there's no confetti, obviously. But I don't expect any type of damage or anything like that. But I don't know. We'll see what's on the car. Here's the die cast out of the box. And might I say, this is a pretty beautiful paint scheme. Now, especially from the side, I love the, like, the blue fading in the front. It kind of goes from like that really pretty blue up to like a, you know, like a light blue kind of fade into the white. And then it kind of fades back in the blue when you go through the side door. And it's got these little things down here. I don't really know what you call them, but that little design is on like oh, almost like every RFK car as far as I'm aware of. Well, I'll move you over here then if you want to be stubborn like that. Uh, anyway, it's on like every RFK car, but to have that blue to kind of match with the rest of the paint scheme, that looks pretty good. So good on them. And I like the little blue line that kind of goes through the back of the car too, so... Yeah, very cool. That fading's really nice. It's not pixelated. It's, you know, pretty smooth for the most part. Maybe changes a little too fast, but I don't know. It's not a bad paint scheme whatsoever. And you got the chrome numbers. Can't go wrong with that there. Just a really slick paint scheme overall. So, you know, not not a bad job. Not bad at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and get on to the die cache review. We got color generators right there. Got a little bit of rubber buildup. You can see uh, the little ventilations right there in the hood. So we do have some rubber build up, a little more than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie, I thought it was going to be just a few specs, but now there's some there. Color generators in a, in a matte, um, oh, is this whole thing a matte finish? Am I just now, yeah, this whole thing's a matte finish, I'm just not realizing that. At first I thought it was the uh, the decal for the sponsor that was just matte, and then I got to looking at it, I'm like, oh, the whole thing's kind of like a matte finish. 
it's pretty interesting. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, but, you know, here we are. Got Brad Keselowski, or just Keselowski on the name better there with the Ford logo beside that. Of course, you got the number six on the roof. A little bit more race wear. Again, not a whole lot. It's, well, I mean, it's more than I thought there was going to be. It is interesting, though, because I'm not seeing a roof hatch. Normally with, like, I don't know, like Speedway cars, they have, like, some sort of roof hatch. And I'm not really seeing it on this. I don't know if they just didn't decal it or if it wasn't present on the car. Not really too sure, but they should definitely have a roof hatch if it's not present on the uh, the actual race car. I would assume so, but it's not on here, so I'm not really too sure. Maybe it's just some sort of line on mistake. Who knows? But I'm looking at the Chris Buescher one, too, and I'm not seeing on that either. So, I don't know. I'll have to kind of look at that whenever... I uh, get the chance. Got color generators right there. Keselowski got color generators once again. Got the pop rivets on the front and the back end of the spoiler back here. Looks very nice. If I can get some good lighting here. Color generators. Got RFK. Got the number six. Got that blue line I was kind of talking about from the side. It goes all the way across the back over to the other side. Looks very neat. Got those fake exhaust pipes that literally nobody cares about. <laughs> so that's always fun to have. I uh, got the tail lights back here. Got the diffusers down at the bottom. Just a very nice paint scheme. Yeah, I mean, like, even the back looks pretty good. Color generators there. Uh, powered by Castrol. Again, got that line kind of going down to these little things over here. Again, color generators, nothing on the C post. Violet Defense going up to the B post. Got the 29 there. Brad Kozlowski. Don't really know what the 29 is or what it's for, but got a little bit of a decal mistake. I wonder if I can fix that or ruin it, whichever one. Uh, did that crease it? Uh, it creased it a little bit. But you can see on that, this little ah, name rail, this little roof rail. Let's see if we can I'll push it down a little bit. Is that going to? Eh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I got Brad Kozlowski there. Oh, we got a little bit of a uh, big old chunk taken out of the B post there. That's not very good. Uh, Ford Kohler Celsius. I've been drinking that recently, actually. Not bad, not bad. Really the only energy, uh, energy drink that works on me. So, I don't know, props to Celsius. Castrol there. I am going to patch that little black spot whenever I get the chance. Actually, can I do that now? Can I patch that? Is that going to be is that going to be noticeable for me? We'll see. Do you think that's noticeable? Can can you can you notice that? Is that no? Nothing's there. Nothing happened. No no paint chip. I have no clue what you're talking about. I try to make my cars look good, ladies and gentlemen. Even when Lionel does not. <laughs> got Fast and All down there. Mac Tools, whatever that one is. Simon's there. I got the very reflective number. Looks very, very good. Got the NASCAR Cup Series. Got the Goodyear logo there. If we can focus in on that, that'd be pretty sweet. But we cannot, apparently. I don't know. I'm pretty convinced this camera hates me. But got the Goodyear logo there. A little bit of race wear. Let's actually back out a little bit. A little bit of race wear right here on the front. Not a whole lot. But I really like the front end look of this car. I don't know why it keeps it's too bright too bright there goes a little better I really like the front end I don't know why I think it's the blue that starts on the bottom mixed with that black going like fading up into the white I think that's what really does it for me I don't know I can't tell what it is about it but I think it looks really good so I don't know I mean I don't know just really I don't I'm, I'm saying I don't know how many times I can say I don't know in one video but uh, no, we need an I don't know counter because I'm saying I don't know quite a bit for whatever reason and I don't know why so you can you know, go ahead and add another tally to the I don't know counter for whatever reason but yeah nothing on the side here I'm getting distracted uh, there's a little bit of fuel spillage I'm not sure but it looks like that on the bottom there uh, but yeah so that's pretty much it for this die cast is this a metal chassis I'm not too sure no, it is not. Not too sure why I looked at the box instead of just flipping it upside down and taking a look that way, but you know what? It is what it is. So, yeah. There is the dual two race win. The, no, dual number one. I'm sorry. The dual number one race win for RFK uh, for, of course, Brad Keselowski for the 2022 season. They also have the clean version of this die cast available, I'm pretty sure anyway. So, if you're a Brad K fan, Go for it. You know, you can get two. You can get one. You can get the clean one versus the race one. You can get the race one versus the clean one. Or you can get both. doesn't really matter to me. I think the paint scheme looks really good no matter what. I prefer the raced version because you can't really tell that it's raced up unless you get really close and look at it. So just go ahead and get the little extra details while you can. But nonetheless, I do believe that'll be all for this die cash review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.